What's up guys, Zane here, and welcome back to my channel. In this episode, I'm going to show you guys about squadrons. Now, during the last uh, patch, I think it was 3.4, squadrons were introduced. Now, you need to be at your uh, rank, let's see, uh, second flame lieutenant in any of your grand companies. Once you do that, you will come to your grand company. I'm in the uh, Immortal Flames. There will be an NPC in this area that will you go into a small little cutscene where you'll be meeting your uh, squad, um, I guess, leader. That will basically tell you, um, you know, what squadrons are. After that cutscene, you'll be uh, able to enter the barracks. In the barracks, you will be uh, greeted with your flame squadron sergeant. Here you can either, you know, here and here, you'll be given the mission deployment. Um, about current deployment, which when you put them out there. And then of course you get this uh, squadron guide. Squ squadron guide uh, gives you a uh, bunch of uh, sections to read. About missions, finding new recruits, enlisting new recruits, training, squadron attributes, changing squadron classes, squadron chemistry, and mission affinities. Now, in order to get recruits, as you can see I have recruits everywhere, you need to do your challenge log. Once you do the, some of these challenges, uh, it's mostly uh, RNG, you will get a notification saying you, you have a new recruitment up for uh, review and that's where you go with these little enlistment papers as you see I already have someone waiting and you'll be able to either dismiss them postpone the review or question so I will go into the question even though I already have uh, a full squadron your gear is is based on their level so now you have three options either dismiss postpone or recruit this time if you have a, a full party a full squadron you'll have to dismember uh, disbarred somebody to replace the new one so you have one two three four five six seven eight since uh, this is just um, to show you guys what it looks like, I will be dismissing this uh, new recruit since I will, don't really need anybody anymore. Since I have a full squadron. Now, there are some recruits that have really weird attire. Some, like, stuff like from, like, bunny ears. Or, um like pirate looking gear and so on and so forth a lot of people actually want those recruits for some reason I don't know but to me it doesn't really matter so over here we have the regimen board where you can uh, pick your training courses abandon your current training course if you already uh, uh, if you already chose one and then your, your view squadron roster here you can um, choose their chemistry. All you do is hit the sub command button, and then you'll give three options: confirm chemistry, change classes, or review enlistments. When you confirm chemistry, the chemistry that they acquired in their last mission, you'll have two choosings: either to take the new one or keep the old one. If you decide to keep the old one, the new chemistry will disappear upon entering another mission. So keep that in mind. Now, if you have a, um, these books that changes their uh, class, you would also do it in that menu. I'm gonna show you guys the uh, books that you can get during missions or trading grant company seals for to change their classes. 
You go to your fl uh, flame or whatever crank company quartermaster. I believe they'll be in your material. Yes, they'll be in your material op uh, option. Here you have a contemporary war warfare defense, which will be able to switch your tanks either to gladiator or marauder. There is no dark knights, since these are classes, not jobs. You have your offense, which is able to change your physical DPS from pug to arch to lancer or rogue. And the magics works for arcanist, conjurer, and thaumaturge. And then the last thing is you have your squadron enlistment manual, which increases your chances of getting a recruit. So, I unfortunately have a lot of uh, these done already, but I'm going to um, complete some of these, hopefully to get a new recruit. To show you guys what happens when you do one of these and then a recruitment pops up. So, I'm going to do that off camera, so I will see you guys in a little bit. Alright, so here I am at the Fate. And I'm going to be doing this, um, the Fate, uh, Fated to Wonder challenge. And hopefully I will get a recruit. I already have the, uh, enlistment uh, manual up. So, hopefully that will increase my chances. So, let's finish, just do this Fate and, uh, hope that I get a recruit. Alright, hope I get a recruit. Yes, there we go. That's the that's where it will come up. It will say a new crew has arrived. You will listen to papers in the barracks. Okay. So, back to the regiment board. Actually, I'm going to see what I got for a recruit. Ellison, Archer, don't really need them. Alright, so. Over here is the regiment board again. Go into training courses. Then you have three um, separate um, attributes. You have basic training, which is physical, basic training, which is mental, and basic training and tactical. Or you can do two at one and do physical, mental, physical, and tactical, or mental and tactical. And then this one, the com comprehensive training course, doesn't raise any stats or decrease any stats when you hit maximum um, point, attribute point limit. But it will just give you uh, your squadron experience points to level up. Now, as you can see, they only go up to level 50. Um, at level 10 and 40, you'll be given these special flagged missions. You first, when you first start, you have train E missions. Level 2, level 1, level 5, level 10, and level 15. Each of them have its own stat requirement that you need to uh, complete the mission. If you have all three stats, require the, if you have the uh, limit requirements, your mission will, will, will succeed without fail. Let's see if I can find one. Alright, if you have... If you have two of the three stat requirements, you'll be get this mission will be challenging, but I think our squadron is equal to the task. So I think you have about a good 75% chance. Let's see here. What else? Uh, I need one it's the lower one. Okay. At this rate, if you only have one uh, stat reached, it still say this mission will test the squadron to its limits. Are the risks worth the reward? That means you have at least about 50-50 chance. And if you have even lower than that. You'll have a there is little chance that this mission will succeed. Or if you're doing a priority mission. It'll just basically say that it is, there's no way you can do it. You could possibly do it. So, at level 10, you'll get a training. You'll get a mission. You have to do that mission successfully to get routine missions. And at level 40, you'll be getting another mission, 
which you have to do successfully to get a priority mission. Priority missions are once a week because they have such great rewards. And the uh, mission affinity is really, uh, as you can see, the top here, mission affinity is, um, gets pretty, uh, pretty, uh, pretty good as you, uh, get to this point. So you're able to get more, uh, chemistry, uh, up, which will give you a uh, hundred, most likely a hundred percent chance to get whatever, um, item that you get from that chemistry. So when all squadron members are of a different class, there's a 20% chance to receive disciples of hand specific materia. If you have a mission affinity, that would be a hundred percent. So keep that in mind. Each one of these, uh, like routine and training, these can only be, be done once a week, but you can do all of them. Unlike priority missions, you only can do one every week. So you can't do all these you only can choose one, so choose wisely. And choose one that has the mission affinity that works best with your squadron. So when you, once you get a priority mission unlocked, which is after you do the level 40 mission, you will automatically be given the title First Flame Lieutenant. And that's when you get all the rewards uh, to the Grand Company Seals, Quartermaster, after you get first flame ten, so all those the books you get to change your cla battle classes, we we'll get we we'll get through there. So I believe that is all that is. there is the squadrons. So you do your challenge log every week, get your recruits, try to get a diverse uh, diverse uh, group, you know. Some people, they want all Lollafell, sometimes they want Allison, they want all Rogadins. But try to, um, try to mix it up. The better, the better you mix it up, the better chances of you getting mission affinities and better gear, better items. Oh, also fair to, to mention, um, you need, um, Grand Company Seals to pay, um, uh, to pay your your squadrons so as you can see down here the expenditures you need grand company seals to to um to pay them so also keep that in mind as well so that is pretty much it for squadrons so hopefully you guys found this uh video useful hope you guys um you know get uh Get your um, squadron up to 50. You know, get those uh, get those missions done, and hopefully you get some good uh, good affinities out there. And those are good one. You get materia, you can get gill, uh, you can get MGP, um, you can get um, books, change your classes, uh, and you can get like these little um, little entitlements that acts like uh, free company actions. You also can get you also can get those. You can get scripts. So there's a, there's a lot you can get. I don't know if you can get Grand Company Seals. I'm pretty sure you can. I've never seen it before. So. So make sure you're, if you do get that, you know. Uh, no, let me know in the comments below if, you, if, you, if you've if you seen those. Because I have yet to see them. So, again, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more Final Fantasy 14 videos. Also check me on my social media, fa uh, Facebook and Twitter. They'll be uh, at the end of the video. So make sure you follow me on there for updates on my next video. All right, so until next time, may you all walk in the light of Lord Bahamut. Take care guys.